Smith says she'll never be the person she was before November 6th of 2005. In the early morning hours, a man burst into her first floor apartment in Plano, knocking the door right off its hinges. It was terrifying when he put the gun to the back of my head and threatened to kill me, you know, when I, I didn't know if I would make it to the next day. Kathy pleaded with her attacker. But then he did, you know, proceed to, to rape me. Kathy's rape went unsolved for years, but before long, it became obvious to police that a serial rapist was terrorizing North Texas. At first, all they had was this grainy ATM video and the recollections of a growing number of victims. By 2008, there were 19 sexual assaults, robberies, and a murder. What I always suggest to my witnesses. SUNY Chapman is a senior forensic artist and a veteran at creating composite sketches out of other people's memories. You've got hundreds and hundreds of possibilities. But instead of drawing, composite sketching is going digital through a new computer program called eFit. Focus on the mood, focus on the expression of the, the, the suspect's eyes. The eFit artist can find the eyes, the nose, the mouth, and the hair and make them different, bigger, smaller, wider, or more narrow. So sometimes I'll click. Forensic artists are trained to look for details, but most victims and witnesses are not, so this system gives the agents options. Maybe it's just one is enough. Definitely not an etch-a-sketch type program. People first hear about, oh, a computerized sketching program, they're like, it's going to look awful, but you see how realistic this looks. This is the next frontier in identifying a criminal. I'll look at the witness and you just see the tears start to well up. It's being used only by ATF, and ATF is beginning to share it with police departments across the country. You get goosebumps. You feel their emotion. Just take a look at a few of the cases that EFIT helped solve. An attempted kidnapping from California, a serial pedophile from Kentucky, and now the man who terrorized Kathy Smith and dozens of other victims here in North Texas. It's mostly the eyes. They got me. It was this EFIT composite that led Plano police to Stanley Ledbetter Jr., the so-called blue bandana rapist. Kathy and the other victims helped the ATF develop the composite. I think it's an amazing tool that led to his arrest. I was beginning to wonder if he was ever going to be caught. Sit. <laughs> Kathy says her life is different now. Good boys. But she's getting on with her life and hoping other lives will be spared by the smallest details of a criminal's face. A Plano police officer recognized Ledbetter from the EFID composite while investigating a burglary. Then, detectives successfully matched Ledbetter's DNA with evidence found at the scene of the rapes. And Ledbetter was convicted by two juries. In Dallas, Stephanie Lucero, CBS 11 News.